Okay, this box turned up a little bit earlier on today and I'm quite excited by it. We know that of course it's going to be something from Schwalbe, so it's going to be tires. What I also know is the fact that it's for e-mountain bikes, but apart from that, I don't know too much. So let's go ahead, unbox this, take the tires out, get them fitted, and then of course we can go out and ride them. Eddie Current is 27 and a half in the rear and 29 inch in the front, which means to fit my e-bike, I'm gonna have to get another wheel. And look what we have here. Let's get these things fitted to the bike. The biggest difference in the tires comes down to wheel size and also the width. The front is a 29 by 2.4, whereas the rear tire, well that's actually a 27.5 by 2.8, meaning that you've got two different wheel sizes and it's almost like a plus tire in the rear. That's gonna be extremely interesting to ride and I can imagine it's gonna give you a lot of grip for some of those slippy uphills. The really good thing about them being different wheel sizes is the fact that I've only got to change the front tire because I already had the rear ready. Sometimes you just gotta use it. Oh, I absolutely hate that noise. It gets me every single time. I was just about to put that rear wheel into the bike when I looked over at the trials bike and saw just how similar these two tires are. Look at the center blocks on both the trials bike and on the mountain bike tire. They're almost identical. You've got three big knobs giving you incredible rear wheel grip when you're climbing or accelerating. And then the side knobs are very similar. They're square edge, they're well supported, and they're really meant to dig into the ground super aggressively. I think this is gonna be absolutely incredible on the e-bike. Let's get it into the bike so that we can actually go and ride that thing. The eddy currents look pretty insane on the bike and I'll see you guys up and going cool where we're actually going to take the bike out, go for a big ride and see what it's like. This is going to be the first epic day on my e-bike. So good morning from Glencoe, we've just arrived here and it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Look at that view that is right behind me, there's barely any clouds in the sky, it's warm, it's sunny. I've never been to this area riding before, I've always wanted to do that, I've driven past here so many times going further north onwards to Fort William and we're at the bottom of the Devil's Staircase. Now this is a pass that leads over and into Kinloch Leven. It's meant to be really fun, there's some good turns and I think apart from anything else, it's going to be absolutely incredibly scenic today. I've got Miles over there, he's getting some shots of the bike and we're also going to make a little video for Schwalbe on that new tire which they're going to use to help launch it as well. So I think today is just going to be a great day, looking forward to getting onto the trails and seeing what they're like. Point just before it starts to get really steep. Miles is just coming up there just behind me. The views are absolutely insane, like I thought they would be. The grip is really good, but the terrain is actually really, really loose, so it's making it a bit of a challenge. Miles, how are you getting on? It's pretty hard, eh? It is pretty hard. It's a bit like kind of trial sections almost in some places, but we've got the hard bit yet to come. Let's see how we get on. up at the top of the climb now. That was really, really fun. Quite a big challenge actually. The loose rocks really sort of made sure that you really had to be on the bike properly. You had to keep your weight on the rear to get as much grip as you can. 
having that extra power from the e-bike means that you're just sort of always working that back wheel, you're always accelerating away. As soon as you lean too far forward front, you lose traction and you don't make up the obstacles. It's actually really, really steep and you can kind of see just a difference in elevation that we've climbed really, really quick. And that's what I love about the e-bike is you can get up here so, so fast. We're pretty much at the top now and we're about to descend into Kinloch Leaven. Miles, how's the climb been for you? Pretty tricky. Have those tires. Yeah, I bet you do, mate. They are awesome so far. Test is on the downhill now. back to civilization so to speak that was a really fun ride over here it was about a nine kilometer pass a lot of climbing one side then one kind of flew long descent we've now got to do it in reverse so we're going to climb back up it and to give you a bit of an idea of how much sort of energy i've used off of the e-bike well i've been using it mainly in trail mode a little bit of boost in some of the really steep climbs right now i'm in eco and i've still got four full bars left so i'm hoping that's going to be enough that we can really accelerate up to the top of this and then descend back to where we parked the van. It's really cool around here, it's really fun and I've got to say the tires are sweet, the bike is feeling awesome and even Miles is really enjoying the e-tour. This is both of us, our first proper sort of adventure e-tour away from trails that we know and I've never been here before and this so far is putting a big smile on my face. And taking in the views, enjoying it. And really feeling like this is how you should spend an e-bike tour. Taking in a little bit more relaxed. I mean, it's not totally easy. I'm still a little bit out of breath and I'm still having to put some effort in. But we are sitting at a comfortable 13 kilometers per hour. just how steep and technical some of those climbing bits are right there. So I'm gonna have to try and warrant it to you in the fact that it was almost like riding my trials bike. There's little sections where you had to be on the back wheel, hopping up. But the big thing about actually riding on the e-bike is the fact that the power, there's this very, very slight lag. It's not like having a throttle on a motorbike. It's pedal assist. So when you put the energy in, you also get it back. But when you do put that pedal stroke in initially, or if you have a short break in one of those technical sections, then you can lose your flow. And it happened a couple of times there, but you've got to be really on your A game to keep balance on the bike. And that is what I love about riding the e-bike, is that suddenly the uphills become a really big challenge. Now we're almost back up at the top of the Devil's Staircase, and then the real descending can really start, because we're going back down that trail that we climbed up at the start, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, it's gonna be challenging and really technical.
there we go, back in the van, incredible riding the Devil Staircase, always wanted to take that one off the list, I'm so glad that I've done it. Technical, rocky, challenging, sort of had everything that you could need to give a tyre a real, true and proper testing. For those wondering about the specification of the tyre, well it is an Attic Soft, it's super gravity casing and that's giving you really good grip and protection, exactly what you need when you're riding those rocky trails. Now I'm looking forward to doing a little bit more experimentation with this tyre. I felt that today I could probably have let a little bit of pressure out the rear, especially being a big 2.8 giving you a huge volume. However, then you risk punctures and on this rocky terrain, well there's a high chance of that, but that's something more that I can experiment with back in my home trails. Thanks for watching this, hope that you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys real soon again on the trails.